uh, the devil, the United States uh, Army, has done de detailed research and have come up uh, with an antidote for radioactive poison. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't doubt that because already you know, the basement king, Yahweh himself, is a true herbalist. He's right. the herbalist and it is real. That's right. Right. And there's a bunch of herbs out there that will help detox you from radiation and, 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 and help the cells remove you from the body. You say, well, I know that because I know a lot of it removed from my, my mind. That's mm -hmm. right. So that's how simple it is. So what we're going to do is we'll talk about this money again. We're going to tie it all in to this change of, uh, of this three and a half, uh, uh, three and a half, might as well say it, the Revelation, um, uh, uh, Revelation 12 chapter. I just want to read you the first eight or nine verses where it says the woman was persecuted for a level prayer. But we're going to deal with this three and three. Three and a half. I want this on uh, people on YouTube. I'm tired of people calling me and I can explain a thousand times. No <laughs> Same old stuff. Uh, 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 okay. It, 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 three, you got three and a half. Right. You got three and a half for the good. And you got three and a half for what? For the bad. See, all of that equals what? Seven. We're going to talk about that. And, and we're talking about how, how it's been set up and, and what it represents. And this is 1260 days or years, whichever principle you want to use. Once you understand it, it's a principle. So it's 1260 uh, days or years. We'll get into it. Or this principle can be manifested in terms of four. Because four is in the midst of what? The week, so, week. So, week. So, five, uh, 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 nickel is what? 20 nickels to a dollar, 10 dimes to a dollar, 100 pennies to a dollar, mm -hmm. two half a dollar. Different manifestations of the same what? Person. Same person. Mm -hmm. Now you understand. Yeah. Just run over and over again. God always said, God changed what? God changed, changed now. So we're going to read Revelation, the first chapter, and then 12th chapter about that, and then we'll finish this up. Now, all this is tied into the full 90. We get into that. I'm just going to give you an overview. Everybody's talking about these 12 90s. They got it all screwed up. But you can see then why the 2012 is coming. Even though the Gentiles were off, they're looking for the end of the day. It did coincide with some of the cycles of what? Of Yahweh. Been the, been the first 50 days after, I mean, 50 years after 19 what? 60. See, it's very close to that. That's why it's such a, so even the Gentiles, you know, they ain't got no Bible, don't believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but they got enough sense though, something that's ready to jump off. Mm -hmm. See, even the Gentiles, their superstition was able to uh, 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 come to some conclusion uh, about what Yahweh was doing. And what the Bible is, they, 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 they still understood. Paul oh, said the Gentiles do by nature things that were contained where? In the law. In the law. So now we're able to do this. Now these are divine calculations. You're going to be able to put this stuff together and you'll be able to see it uh, over and over again. Uh, it's 156. That's 156 in the camp. You'll be able to see these what? The cycles. The cycles and the numbers. Uh, 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 do you know what to expect? You know, because most people don't know nothing about these numbers. They haven't been taught. They, they, and, 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 and they misuse them and abuse them because they don't understand the repetition because they have no pattern and they have no vision. That's why the vision of the kingdom is so important. It was able to put all of these things together in a concise manner for you to be able to understand. Down here, the last few days of the fall of the mystery of Babylon. And even if he said, Everybody is saying, even somebody who don't believe in the Bible, they realize the current system that you're in is what? Unsustainable. It's unsustainable. It's gone. It's over with. See, and few people are able to prepare for it, just like it did prepare for the flu. Okay, uh, I need a prayer by uh, uh, Mr. Robinson. Then we need somebody to read those first eight verses. And then we'll go back. And, and the first eight verses, then I want you to read the, the Exodus, the, the, uh, the 12th chapter. Uh, one through nine, with special attention played to the uh, uh, the, the land was held over how many days? Four days. Now you understand. That's twelve sixty. Mm -hmm. 
uh, 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 his bride, and, and, and his bride. Now, it's no coincidence. <laughs> you know, no coincidence that coincidence may coincide. <laughs> what what it is is just I think it's this week or next week. The marriage. Mm -hmm. the, the, there will be a royal marriage that will have the whole world. That's right. Yeah. Spellbound. Right. 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 For a week. Right. Like they did in the eighties when what's his name married uh, mm -hmm. Diana. 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 Now and they get married on the eleventh day, the twenty ninth. Right. So you know it's, it, so the point is that um it's in the month of April, but it's also in the month of uh, April, the first month uh, uh, of the Hebrew calendar that we're in. The point that I'm making here is that that is taking place now, and it will be finished completely at the end of Mystery 1. Babylon's destruction, which we show forth, and it really will look at the institution and the fulfillment of this thing as we go down. But it's important for you to, uh, to see that. And then the woman had to flee in the wilderness for 1,200 what? 60 days where she was nourished. We'll talk about that. You got to tie all this stuff together. If you know the migratory track, you got the whole thing. You said it just comes with a different manifestation. Then you'll be able to see where we're going. Okay. So, and then we have uh, 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 the 12th chapter of, of, of Revelation. And the founder says you have to begin at Moses. Uh, this is Isaiah, he must have took a lot of the prophets. You're going back here to pick up the basic principles that we need. Now, these are principles, and, they, and, and they, they repeat themselves over and over and over. Nothing changes. See, but you've got to understand the principles so you can see it in operation. And see it in operation uh, 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 in your life, in the world, it, 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 it enables you to understand that Yahweh is truly uh, real uh, in his operation. Now, we begin down here. First of all, we begin at the I'm cut it up short because I've got, I got, I got a lot I want to cover. Uh, when Moses received the vision at, at this uh, burning bush out there, uh, the appearance of this angel in this burning bush uh, uh, gave him a commission to go back down into that. It gave him the names Yahweh, not Lord, but Yahweh, uh, 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 which is the salvation name, first time revealed to Moses and a man in this, in this set of ages. And he came back down here with signs and wonders. He got back down here in the land of Egypt, cut it up. There were ten plagues poured out down here, folks. But only the first three were on the Egyptians and the Israelites. But the last seven, the last seven were only on the Egyptians. That's why Revelation always talks about them seven plagues and really one out on one. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Baba, that's to come. Mm -hmm. And you got a little taste of it with that radiation over there in uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan. The farm animals are dying. Mm -hmm. They can't drink the water. Mm -hmm. soil is contaminated. The soil is contaminated. Mm -hmm. You can't fish. Mm -hmm. You can't breathe the air. Right. And them folks are constantly terrorized. Mm -hmm. Say, Yahweh said, I got something for you. Now, this, that's the beginning of play. That's just a type. We ain't got the real thing. Because, see, they don't know what they're playing with. Messing with this atomic energy, they ain't got no divine what? That's well, right, pattern. They ain't got no divine pattern or wisdom. Right. So right. I'm saying, they go in and they got this power, and, 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 and then they made them drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> They made them drunk. I ain't talking about uh, 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 Jim Crow drunk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Bergen drunk, I'm talking about what? Spiritual blood. Psychological, because he, since he's able to unlock the power of the atom, he thinks he's God, and they soon find out that they what? They can't have it. They can't have it. Because they think if it was God, and how did God let this stuff get a guy in Bergen's butt up? <laughs> Don't make no what? Don't make no sense. So it shows you they lack divine wisdom. See, but what happened was a 10th plague down here, and we killed firstborn man and beast down here. And we read that in, in the uh, book of, uh, of, uh, of Exodus, that which Moses wrote after the children of Israel came out of Egypt. So this is the Exodus out. So what happened was, uh, they were told to take out a lamb on the 10th. Mm -hmm. And hold it over how many days? Four, 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 four days. So, four, so, so the 10th, uh, 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 so the 10th year, of Avia. Now, Avia, the corresponds to the month of April. I'm on April. April. <laughs> so, the 10th. Uh, January. See, and, and that's the first month of the Hebrew calendar. That's how you determine when.